I don't even know where to start. This team, man. The stretch of four games that I've seen from this team. Freddie Anderson, I, I don't know like what it was just like a wave of excitement around this team. Jack Campbell comes in and then Freddie Anderson comes back and it's like the Leafs shut down. I'm completely baffled right now what I witnessed tonight. I'm just like trying to chill out for a second before I go off. Um you lose to the Stars. You almost shit the bed against the Sens. You embarrass yourselves in Buffalo. And this tonight. Oh my god. I Late February. I have to be in my car because I'm so mad right now. Late February. And you have Martin Marinch in the lineup. What was it? 20 shots against? 20 shots against and the Leafs allow 5 goals. And the thing is, you know what? You gotta, you gotta have some ownership against Anderson for sure. You have to have some kind of ownership against Anderson. But the fact is, man, three of the goals are cross crease passes that Martin Marincin and Justin Hall are picking their asses. I get it. Morgan Riley's out. But it's so stupid to think that this team can go into the playoffs and win a round, especially considering that it's going to be against one of Tampa, Boston, or Washington, if, if they even make the playoffs. I don't understand how Dubis looks at today, looks at today and sees Dylan DeMello go, sees Marco Scandella go, sees, who was the other guy? Um, anyways, Martinez about to go. It's so, it's so frustrating. I'm drawing a blank. And Brendan Dillon to go. Dylan, DeMello, Scandella, Martinez. See ya later. And then I have to watch that performance tonight. It is so beyond me how I can... Ha I have to watch Martin Marincin on... What day is it? February 18th. I have to watch Martin Marincin. Tyson Berry, every time this guy takes a point shot, I, I cringe. I honestly think I lose a, pe like a piece of myself. This guy, when he... I don't know how many... Someone pull up the attempts from Tyson Berry. I have to give a shout out to Skinner quick for that dono, but... I... I I don't understand this guy's mindset when he's ripping a clapper from the top of the corner of the blue line and Mitch Marner trying to do it all himself on a five on three power play. You cannot give me analytics. You cannot not give me numbers to defend Justin Hall, Martin Marinch, and even Mitch Marner tonight, certain guys tonight, Tyson Berry, man, Mitch Marner trying to play goalie on that fifth goal. What are you doing on your knees in the crease? I don't understand this guy. Sometimes Mitch Marner, it's something in his head where he just, he, he turns something on where he thinks he can do it all himself. He's in the crease trying to play goalie. I don't know what Anderson's doing on that play. You have the whole uh, right side behind you wide open when you're handling the puck behind the net. And somehow you see a guy right in front of you, whether it was Rust or Teddy Bluger, and you put it right at him. They gave Crosby some gifts tonight. They gave Sidney Crosby some gifts tonight. The Pittsburgh Penguins without Evgeny Malkin. And you gave Crosby some gifts tonight. I have to be in my car because I don't, I can't yell in front of people right now. Malkin wasn't even in the lineup tonight. How embarrassing is it when you've got a Pittsburgh Penguins team that, honestly, if you look on paper on the bottom six, whatever, they got a guy scoring their first NHL goal, Angelo, scoring tonight. Anderson, I got to blame Anderson for two goals tonight, but the other three, if anyone wants to come at me and say the other three goals are Anderson, maybe one of the cross crease, maybe the Russ, the first goal from Russ, fine. You could maybe argue that. The other two goals, Martin Marincin and Justin Hall picking their behinds. I, I've, I said it a month ago, guys, I can't watch Martin Marincin again. If this guy plays another game, I don't even know what I'm going to do, man. When I saw that lineup change, I was like, Fine, Lilligren and Sandine are getting dominated, but to put Marincin in, in and actually think it's going to make a difference, Dubis and Keith, man, this is not the Toronto Marlies. This is not the Calder Cup. It's embarrassing, man, how they, man, 
I just think of all these guys, Korshkov has a good game. You pull him out and put Timoshov in. What did Timoshov do tonight? Dermot. Dermot played tonight. That's the off the wall. You probably didn't even see Dermot. He, he made a couple mistakes and he was he made one good play in the neutral zone to Tavares. Man. Smash that like button. I was, <laughs> do something good. I am so okay. Honestly, guys, I was actually like you guys, I should have went live during that second period. That would have that would have been content for you guys. I should have went live during that second period. Uh, because the way I was feeling right now, ask off the wall, man. I was about to explode. Um, no, like on, on a real note, man, like they scored those two goals lost by three, but it's embarrassing. Um, Dubis, man, I can't, he watched four. I mean, Mar the Martinez trade, if it's going to happen is not going to be official probably till tomorrow to watch four things like that to go down. Wh what are you going to do? You're going to completely go for a huge overpayment for guys like Dumba or Manson. Like what are the least going for now? I mean, honestly, if I'm Dubis, man, I'm going after Damon Severson. Severson's the guy in New Jersey, man. Riley comes back into the playoffs. Riley Severson. I would, I would be so down with trading Barry. I would be okay going to the playoffs with Justin Hall and Travis Dermott as our bottom pair, bottom pair. And I would be okay, honestly, hot take alert. I would be okay with a top four of Riley, Severson, Muzzin, Sandine. Fine. You know what? Sandine struggles defensively sometimes. I think that I think kind of the dynamic of Sandine being able to skate, be able, being able to move, and Muzzin possibly maybe being better than he was tonight, working maybe in the playoffs. And then a top pair of Riley, Severson, I think they would be able to work off each other. I would hope. Skinner, man. You can't say Severson sucks, man. You can't say he's like Marin. Okay, maybe he's not unreal, but he's a simple defenseman. That's what the Leafs need, a simple defenseman. They have too many defensemen trying to do the complicated thing. Justin Hall has a shot at the at the high slot, and he decides to pass it back to Muzzin. Like, I'm just... I, I didn't organize this video, guys. All I'm saying is, Vatnin's fine. Acquire Vatnin, but I just think Vatnin's going to be an overpayment. I just think Severson's a guy that is under a good contract. It's under a, a fairly cap-friendly contract, and I just think he could be a guy. That's all I'm saying. Fine. I don't think Severson's an all-star defenseman. I don't think that. But Lee fans are also saying acquire Adam Larson, man. <laughs> like, we're not... There's no... You don't just acquire, like, a Colton Pareko, or you don't just acquire, like, one of these monsters of defense. For nothing. Like, I'm seeing... I even saw Leaf fans over the offseason, like, oh, Bruins, whatever, rivalry, go after Brandon Carlo. Like, the, these teams are smart, man. There's a reason why the Blues and the Bruins are one of the better teams defensively in the, the league. Man, having guys like Carlo, having guys like uh, Pareko, guys that can move, guys that have big bodies, guys that can hit the net, um, two-way defensemen that can do it all. Uh, the Leafs don't have that. The Leafs don't have defensemen that can do it all. Jake Muzzin, uh, sure, he plays that sometimes defensive sound game. He is so slow. He is so slow. Morgan Riley, um, this year, honestly, last year it was great. This year to start, the, the defensive woes, but offensively still great. Uh, Sandine, same thing. Honestly, he makes some great defensive plays. I, I saw Dan Sandine, um, I don't even know who it was. It was middle of the ice going into the defensive zone. He laid a hit. Sandine will do that sometimes. And I think Sandine can be that kind of defensive, but he still has so much time to grow. It's like this guy is what, 19? I don't know, guys. Yeah, smash the like button. I'm just going to go through some comments here and the video. Uh, Candy Lover. Yeah, subscribe if you're new. Candy Lover Girl says, I don't think Anderson 100%. I think he came back too early from the injury. Uh, oh, I definitely got to put some blame on Anderson. All I'm saying is if you're going to look at two or three of those cross uh, crease or cross pass, whatever you want to call them, goals, and say they're Anderson's fault, then I think you're missing the boat. I think you're clearly missing the boat. Uh, that uh, even when Anderson gave it away, what a stupid decision uh, on that fifth goal. What is Mitch Marner doing on his knees? On his knees trying to play goalie. It's embarrassing, man. Smash that like button, subscribe for the boys. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Dylan, that was a little hefty for Dylan. Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are all going to complain. Leaf fans, are, okay, I'm not saying all of you, but I'm just saying a whole bunch of people are going to complain. At this point, you're not getting... But I'm telling you right now, having guys like Marincin 
in the lineup or having Justin Hall play heavy minutes, it's not going to work out for you. You pay Justin Hall $2 million, he's got to be on the bottom pair. He's got to be on the bottom pair playing limited ice time. That's where he was having the success. Why do you think he's all of a sudden been shit? Because since Morgan Riley's been injured, he's been playing more minutes and he's getting exposed. Before, when he signed that $2 million contract per year for the next three years, he was he was playing limited minutes. He was playing in a third pair role. That's what he is, max. You cannot tell me Justin Hall is a top four defenseman. That's embarrassing for people on Twitter. It's embarrassing, man. Justin Hall, Travis Dermott. I would be okay with that going to the playoffs as the bottom pair. Uh, I even think Dermott could be expendable and have maybe Sandine and Hall going. But again, a bottom pair. I don't know. They need to do something. I, I said it. I said it after I said after the Clifford and Campbell. Did I think Anderson was going to be better coming back from the injury? Yeah. I don't know if he's healthy or whatever it is. Um, but... The thing is, if you're looking at the defense right now, you've got Justin Hall playing top four minutes where he, he should not be there. You have Sandine even stepping up for more minutes when he's not really ready. Um, Muzzin is not doing great. And again, it's like it's a huge focus on Muzzin because he's the guy right now without Riley in. And Barry is embarrassing himself. I, I'm so done. I'm so over the Tyson Barry experiment. It's not even funny. I am so over the Tyson Barry experiment. It's not even funny. Every time that guy attempts a slap shot from the point, every time that guy is trying to make a defensive play in the defensive zone, I honestly cannot. We have this leash team has so many nonchalant players. I love what Nylander's done this year, but he does not help the case at all for that. No one can argue that. Nylander defensively on a back check. You cannot argue that. Offensively with the puck or off the puck, uh, Nylander's insane. But there's so many nonchalant players on this team. And then you have the exact opposite of Mitch Marner trying to do everything on his own. And then he gets so tired that he can't get back. And then Austin Matthews. I think Matthews was okay tonight. Again, he scored a goal. I think he was only one of a few players that was actually making something happen. And... Um, the power play, I mean, later on when they had the five on three, that was a waste of a five on three. But then even later when it turned into a five on four, Jari made a few great saves. Um, well, John, not now. I said one thing about Nylander. There are lovers in here defending Nylander, uh, even though I'd never said anything bad about him. Nylander's been insane this year. What I'm saying is he doesn't help the cause of everyone else that doesn't give a shit. That everyone else that's just slacking off. Everyone else that's... Is just when things don't go right. Like, okay, whatever. Spets has been obviously great. You're a veteran and you're taking a stupid penalty like that when when um, the Penguins were already two for two on the power play. Does that make any sense? As a veteran, you're doing that? Anyways. Uh, John, did you pull over on the side of the road? Just a rant. I went for a drive. I went for a drive and then I, I pulled up. Um, you guys can have a couple questions or a few. I love you guys. I don't want you laying bullshit in the chat. If you want to beef me, that's fine. Um, I'm just tired of Leaf fans. I'm tired of any fans, to be honest. It goes back to anything. It goes back to the dry cell argument. It goes back to anything. Just having blinders on. Having blinders on. They'll look at one direction. They'll look at one opinion. And again, that's why hopefully I can be better than that. I can use this platform to be better than that. I hope a lot of people are better than that um, and can take those blinders off and not be so biased and not be so blinded by a lot of anything in life. But when, you're, when it comes down to hockey and I don't know, people focusing on it's all Anderson's fault, but then loving Justin Hall for some reason or the opposite, loving um, certain forwards when they're doing not like... I'm sorry, but what did Tavares, even what did Tavares do tonight? Tavares made actually a couple of great plays in the neutral zone, but what did Tavares do tonight in terms of impact? So I could go on about blaming the defense. I could go on about blaming the goaltending. Um, at the end of the day, the least transition game was horrible tonight. The coverage was horrible tonight. The PK was horrible tonight. Uh, Freddie Anderson didn't make a couple saves when need be. But again, if you're going to say that it's Anderson's fault on those two cross-crease passes, when Crosby has an open net, 
when Teddy Bluger, again, that one was Anderson's fault for giving it away to begin with. But Teddy Bluger's left all alone in front when there's three Leaf players surrounding him. Mitch Marner trying to play goalie in the crease. Uh, and whatever the other one was. Sing. You lose to the Stars. You almost choke against the Sens. You embarrass yourself against the Sabres who allowed what? What's the score right now? The Sabres allowing five goals against the Sens and you lost to them? Um... Elias, fine. The defense was, yeah, probably the center point of the blame. I don't see the Leafs scoring more than two goals tonight either, though. So, yeah, you could say Jari played great. Leafs also scored two goals. The transition game was horrible. Back check was horrible. Lack of discipline early in the game that, I mean, they were two for two on the power play. And then no coverage. Justin Hall and Marincin don't know what to do. Yeah, Henry, man. It'll be, uh... I think uh, this is, and then it doesn't come down to whatever people want to say about Toronto media or like the coverage around Toronto. It This Toronto could be, for all I care, the Carolina Hurricanes or like one of the smaller markets. Uh, Carolina is actually growing. Anyways, not the point of what I'm trying to say. They could be a smaller market and to have this much skill on this team and to miss the playoffs, that's going to be the story of the year. Completely. There's no other team. If they were to miss the playoffs, there's no other team that has choked as bad. I mean, you could argue the National Predators and the Winnipeg Jets, fine, but the Jets have had no defense all year in general, and they have battle injuries. Uh, but the National Predators are making someone have come back. Outside of that, and then the San Jose Sharks, but then, again, injuries, and they just one bad year. <laughs> um, Nick, it's not going to take a miracle. They just got to start winning. They, they have the <laughs> control. They have their own control. They control their own destin destiny completely. They're right there with Florida, Philly, Columbus. They're right there. This is not, it's not going to be a miracle. It's just going to come down to making a move and having better structure and hoping Morgan Riley's back a couple of weeks before the playoffs, to be honest. Because if it's that close of a call, you're going to need Morgan Riley down the stretch. And it's going to be a close call. I mean, uh, a lot of people think he'll be back by um, one of the last couple of weeks of March. The least better hope he is. The least better hope he is, 100%. Um, any last questions? I'm about to end. But yeah, Dubas, man. I think... Um... Sorry, guys. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to hold back, but I, I feel like I did hold back a little bit. I'll be honest. I just... Uh, some of it's not worth it, but also I think... Um, I think it was 5 nothing. I think if they didn't have that little bit of pushback, I would have been like, okay, this team's just incapable. And the third period, it wasn't great. I mean, it was a little bit better, but it was still much of the same. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to apologize uh, for, um, kind of, I mean, delay and shortness of the videos today. Uh, I'm hoping to go back home ASAP. Uh, big news, I got my PC, so I guess that's a positive one. Yeah, let's get to 50 likes. We're a couple away. Uh, but thank you for the support. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, big shout out to Skinner. Uh, if you have any questions... Uh, you can reach out to me, Discord, social media. Um, yeah, I think uh, over the next few days, I think trade rumor videos are going to come out. Um, probably going to... Um, yeah, and I've always said, like, I'll always admit when I'm wrong. So we'll see what Drysdale does over the next couple of weeks. Might release a video on that uh, again. I, I think I was just... Uh, too focused on McDavid, so we'll see. Dry settle. I, I watched them closely the last three games. I'm really impressed, honestly. And I, I've always, I've always been impressed by Dry settle. I was like, um, throughout the season, I've brought a lot more. But um, watching Dry settle the last couple of games, I have to say, again, we'll see what he does for the rest of the time. McDavid's out. Uh, Montreal lost to Detroit. Jeez. Yeah. So a joke of a night <laughs> for uh, the mark. All the teams that are close to me, basically, not close to me in my like close to me in terms of location. Um, who said that? Thank you, David Adams. I appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry for the short videos. It was uh, it just comes down to Wi-Fi and uh, not in the best Wi-Fi situation right now. I'm not home, so uh, I just had to uh, upload what I could. All right, Levin Soda, no worries. Uh, I will try to be live, if not tomorrow night, probably Thursday night. Again, hopefully my new PC is set up by then. All right, guys, thank you. 
have a good night. Thank you for the likes. Uh, thank you for the donations from Skinner. Thank you for everyone that subscribed. Uh, if you are new, um, who just got a new toy? Go and dollar. It's sick, man. All right. <laughs> I got a piece. Um, I want to stay longer, but uh, yeah, we'll go live tomorrow. All right. See you, Aaron Hockey. See you, Minka. See you, Winslow. See you, Lemon Soda. Um, everyone else, shout out. And, uh, yeah, always drop a like. I do really appreciate it. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Rayleigh. Thank you, Shay. T-Racer, thank you. All right, peace.